up, guys. Right, talk about when this fight came together. I mean, you know, you're used to championship level opponents every single time. They call you with this fight. What's your first reaction? Uh, you know, my first reaction for any fight opportunity is yes, just out of instincts. That's why I'm in the sport. Um, I've had plenty of fights where the guy's virtually unknown and very tough. I mean, a lot. I mean, the ones that stand out are, are obviously the big fights, fights for titles and, and super fights and things like that. But this is part of the game. This is part of the reason why, you know, people love to watch me is because I fight. I'm here to fight. I'm not trying to protect anything. I'm not trying to protect a legacy or anything. I'm here to fight. And uh, I was coming off that fight with Cruz. Had an amazing training camp. My weight was staying down. It's funny, I actually put on weight once I started training really hard because that's kind of the way I am. I start hitting it hard, I'm eating more, etc. But, uh, you know, I'm excited for this fight. This guy, Jimmy Rivera, I like his attitude. I like what he represents. He's a hardworking guy. He's a respected guy, um, respectful guy. He's, he's putting his time, and, and it sounds like guys are dodging him because he's tough and not many people know him, and I think that's BS. And a bunch of, you know, a bunch of wusses out there. This is not a sport to be a, a, a baby. Tell him, favor. Did you know much about his game? Like you said, I mean, I know you're, you're focused on the top echelon of the division, so did you know much about him? Not really. You know, it's funny, I went to plug in his name in the, in the internet, and I accidentally put it on my text messages, and it popped up and we had a conversation, he and I. <laughs> so I didn't know that. Uh, him, me and him and TJ Dillashaw were on a, a three-way chat, and we were trying to coordinate a workout at one of these events. I don't even know which one. I like that. I like this guy. He's, he's, he's very tough. I mean, I know he believes he's going to beat me up, and that's, what he, that's the attitude you got to have. And I'm not letting anybody beat me up. Now you know he's coming in trying to make a name off you. That's it. Can I put a chip on your shoulder? Uh, you know, I, I've heard, I didn't actually hear any interviews, but I heard him say something about uh, me not evolving in the sport or something weird like that. I mean, that's, that's just an ignorant statement. So that, that, that kind of twerked, uh, uh, tweaked a little bit. But, um, you know, I've been at the top of, of my weight class and whatever weight class I'm in for the last 13 years. So I don't know how you do that without evolving. I'm wondering how excited you are to fight in Cleveland. I love, I love Cleveland. I love Ohio. We have a lot of guys on our team. Lance, Lance the party palmer. Lance the party palmer. He's a World Series of uh, Fighting Championship uh, champion right now. He's from Ohio. He's a, he's a hometown boy. And then our boy Cody Nola, the fastest rising star in the sport. He's out of Ohio as well, so um, we also have Wayne the Pain. You guys don't know him. Um, Sensor is IG is kind of nasty, but that's that's Lance's dad. He's a legend. There's been a lot of talk about uh, Jimmy Rivera. There's been a lot of hype about him. Do you think that's, that's warranted considering his, his record? He's only had three fights in the UFC. Definitely. I mean, if you if you see the guys. You know, even the fights he's had outside of the UFC have been very tough. So, I mean, it's, we're, we're talking about the best guys in the world, and you only get recognition when you get these opportunities. And I'm not here to stop anybody from having an opportunity. Um, I actually, I actually hate that. Uh, a guy like this, he's earned whatever he gets, and, and right now, he's uh, he's earned a whooping from me. Right, how tough was it to get past the, the Dominic Cruz fight? Was it something you put away right away, or did you did, did it sit with you for a few days? I put it away right away. This is this is the sport I'm in. I know it's a, a, every time you roll the dice when you when you go in there and fight. Uh, I feel like uh, I have the ability to beat Cruz, and it didn't happen this fight. I mean, the first round he got really, uh, you know, it became a scramble. Second round he caught me with a punch, and I feel like that kind of changed things for me. But you know, props to him for being a champion, being able to capitalize and and having a great fight. But um, you know, I put that stuff past me. My, my life is not defined by wins or losses. It's, it's, uh, it's a very small part of, you know, who I am. So what is the motivation right now then? Uh, for me, you know, this is a brand new time in our sport. Every month is, you know, it's the, it's the fastest rising sport in the world. We've got a bunch of new developments with, you know, the new ownership and the new exposure and, and the new opportunities. And, and the truth is, I got home from that fight and spent a couple of days on vacation staycation they call it just chilling at home or you know going parts of california to see family and whatnot but um then you get back in the gym because that's what i do i've been doing that for 20 some odd years and um feeling sharp getting the, getting the guys ready for the next battles Paige and cody and and all the up-and-comers that we have and um i'm ranked number two in the world at uh, the toughest sport in the world and and uh i'm excited to go out there and perform because uh, i still have that desire
win or lose, I guess the goal is fight in December, right? Um, we'll see. We'll see about that. I mean, I, I'm not necessarily set on that. Either way, it's going to be a monumental event. We'll talk to the UFC afterwards and see uh, see what they have in mind. But uh, I'm excited to get this win first. What do you think about Cody and uh, Dominic? I'm excited for it. You know, I, I think there's no doubt in my mind that, I mean, honestly, if you look at social media, Cody has like three times the interaction of anyone else in our weight class. You know, he's he posts something, people are excited about him. I, I think, you know, I, an interview asked me, who do you think should get the next shot? Should it be this guy or that guy or this guy or that guy? I mean, the question is, who is the baddest dude on the planet in any given weight? And I think a lot of people think it might be Cody Garbrandt. And there's only one way to find out. You fight the other guy that people think is the top guy right now. That's why you do matchups. It's not, this is fair or I feel this way or this way. It's like, dude, is this guy possibly the baddest dude on the planet? Let's find out. And he's been knocking everyone out. Is TJ on your radar now as well? Not, ne not necessarily. I don't really have any good feelings in that whole situation, not anger or anything. It's just a weird situation. I do this because I love it. Uh, I enjoy the process, and um, I don't really feel like giving any attention or anything to that. You're right. Earlier, uh, Mickey said that he feels a little funny being on the poster and fighting after you and Jimmy Rivera. As a veteran who paid his dues, how do you feel about this whole situation on Fan Golf? Um, I understand business, and it makes sense to me. I'm, I'm excited to be fighting on the same card as CM Punk because you're going to get a whole new audience that probably had never seen me. And um, so I like that. Uh, as far as Mickey saying that, um, that'll change and there'll be a time when, when that happens for him. I remember fighting above Vanderlei Silva and, and Tito Ortiz and being like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You know, it's, it's kind of surreal because those are guys that I've always watched and looked up to. But, you know, this is a sport where there's changing of the guards and I see that every day in my gym. I've got guys like Joseph Morales has been with me since he's nine years old. He's now 22 and, and 6 and 0. Angelo Trevino, who got too big to train with me, and now I, it's not even fair if I go with him. He's, you know, he's a 6 and 1 professional, and, and the list goes on. So, um, it, this is a sport where, where I'm excited to be part of the next generations. You know, I fight a guy like Jimmy Rivera. If he fights until he's 37 or 38 or 40, you know, I will have touched probably 40 years of, of the fight game from the, from the earliest guys that I've fought. To the latest guys he fights, and, and I like I like that. What do you think about being an underdog in this fight? I thought that it was swung in his favor just slightly as a favorite. Oh, I've never even looked at any of that stuff. <laughs> uh, I have no clue. I mean, I wasn't aware.